In past decades, annual data generation has surged, presenting the legal industry with unprecedented opportunities and challenges. Success now depends on innovative solutions that integrate advanced technology with expert insight to navigate complex global matters. So it's a global market, growing quickly, no one's happy with who's providing the service, and no one really had scale. Joining us today are Andy McDonald, CEO, and Meredith Kildo, President of Concilio, an organization redefining the legal industry through what it calls a people-centered approach. Andy, Meredith, great to see you. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. First of all, Andy, why don't you just give us the background brief on Concilio, what it is you do, your mission, the ethos behind the operation? Excellent. Um, it, what we do is, is, is somewhat complicated, but, it, but to break it down to something very simple, as part of litigation, a lot of data gets created. And I, I like to tell this story for people who are old enough to remember Erin Brockovich. She sat in a conference room. It, she looked at piles and piles of, of documents and she found the one that was most important. Nowadays, data is all stored on hard drives, network drives, and that type of thing. And so it's electronic and it's massive quantities. Humans are creating tons of data. And so we were in this business of, of sort of dealing with helping companies take their data, deliver it for litigation. And we did a little bit of research and we saw that it was a part of a, a global marketplace that was roughly $8 billion, growing at 15% annually. No one had a positive net promoter score and no one had 5% market share. So it's a global market, growing quickly, no one's happy with who's providing the service, and no one really had scale. And we thought, instead of spinning this off, let's invest in it. And so we raised some capital and decided that we would go out and acquire many of the people that were making up this industry. And it wasn't just about acquiring. Acquiring gave us scale, but we said, why aren't people happy with the service that they're getting? So we, we, we specifically said, we're going to focus on the client experience. And so acquisition has fueled growth significantly and given a scale to deliver good experience, but the experience itself is what's fueled our organic growth and allowed us to separate ourselves from the pack in, in what I would call is legal technology and discovery related services. Meredith, why don't you pick up on the idea of the client experience? Yeah, for sure. And I think, you know, Client experience is, is a little bit of a buzzword today, right? You hear that a lot from organizations. And so I think the way we view it is there's sort of a table stakes level of client experience. So white glove, concierge, making sure you're creating a frictionless way for clients to engage with you. Um, we have sort of embraced that and then tried to up that ante a bit. So we take client experience extremely uh, seriously. It's really at the core of everything we do. But we've also sort of taken steps in how we've built and curated our business, but all with the eye of the client experience. So whether that be in how we've aligned our commercial organizations together, so everyone from the very first engagement with a client to the very last you know, production that we do in a project um, is aligned. We've also taken that a step further and said, you know, our clients really come in, in two um, verticals for us, whether they come from a law firm or whether they come from a corporate legal department in a corporation. And we said the way that we deliver those services needs to be different, needs to be tailored to those clients. And then one step even further, we look into the verticals, into the industry verticals and say, there's a way for us to really hone expertise around industry verticals. So, you know, by way of example, financial services is a big industry vertical for us. All financial institutions will be affected similarly by you know, big regulatory um, investigations or litigation types. And so sometimes even our folks can end up being ahead of even our client's curve on some of that, knowing those things are coming down the pike. Let's look at this client, the person we call the kind of the person that you care for and, and treat with white gloves. So for example, just to show I'm on the right track, it might be a corporation, they've got a couple of big legal issues they're trying to deal with, and there's a lot of billing hours involved in getting themselves started to step one and step two of putting together what it might be a case, it might be a takeover, it might be some kind of a, an important deal they've got to make and they've got to go through all the corners and so on. They come to you, what's your tick list? What do you tell them you can offer them? What do they ask you that you can do? Specifically, it, 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 it starts off with the data, that they have an element of data that they have on their network and their drives that they have to produce for the other side. And again, it used to be a, a small file box that you would go look in. Now it's it's all over the place. Most people have multiple cell phones, personal computers, 
laptop computers, home computers, network computers, and it's just a matter of aggregating it and finding it. That's the, the first step. The next step is, is saying, uh, when we have all that in a, in a single repository, it could be billions of documents. And there's no way that we could employ someone to look at billions of documents. So it's, it's then about using machine learning and analytics to say, how do I zero in on something that might be specifically relevant to this? At which point, at some point, a human will need to look at it and make a final decision. Okay, Barry, so we're getting into, we understand the service. Talk to me a bit now about the, the technology behind how you do the work. What we try to hone in on is that there is not one technology that will answer you know, every question or every challenge. This is really an industry that was built on sort of point solutions. Um, and we feel strongly that there is a um, real collective and holistic approach that we can take. And, you know, I would re be remiss if I didn't say that a big part of what we deliver is really the powerful combination of the technology with the expertise and the service. So you're talking about technology, you're talking about operations, and presumably there's some lawyers in there in the mix as well. I mean, and this is what Concilio can offer to a client. Absolutely, and it, the, the first thing that Meredith said, this is not a technology only solution. Once we're to a point where we say some decisions need to be made, lawyers need to look at it. And I think that there was a point in time where you would join a law firm and become a first year associate, and you would spend your first two years doing document review. The wages and the bill rates of first-year associates have gotten such that a corporation says, I'm not going to pay that to have that level of, of work be done. Therefore, what we've done is created a team of lawyers across the globe that do what we call the first level review. They'll make very quick adjustments and decide this decision is this is responsive, this is relevant, or this is a non-material to the case. Who wants to talk to me about the power of AND? <laughs> <laughs> That's Andy's favorite. That's so my I'll favorite. And, and the power of and is, is more than the power of and. It, it really, in my mind, it was always the power of and versus the tyranny of or. This is not an either or decision. And when we started sort of looking into this business, we were curious why some folks were trying to, to take a particular software and have it solve all the problems. And realizing that each individual matter we engage with, each individual business line that we engage with, they have different outcomes. And so our goal has been to solve the problem, not to put a solution on something that comes to us. And with that, um, we, we've been really, we, we really think about it as, as being, I don't want to say agnostic to how the, the problem gets solved, but really we want to use whatever is available to us to deliver the good client outcome. I think sometimes the solution is actually a person. So, you know, there's a big part of our business, which um, is the lawyers on demand part of our company. And so when I think we are at our finest is when we weave all of these solutions together for a client, and it's probably the best example of the power of and, but you know, by way of example, we have a um, uh, end to end solution that we just you know, created um, for our automobile manufacturers and our automobile industry vertical around a real pain point for them around breach of warranty claims. It's a very specific pain point that I think there are people in our space who have different points of that, that they can solve the pain for. But what we developed was really a combination of proprietary technology, third-party technology, workflow services, and actually, you know, our, you know, highly valued attorneys in that end-to-end -end combination, which really exemplifies. I mean, problem. you talk about freedom of choice, you talk about specific needs, you talk about follow the sun. So presumably part of your offering is that you're 24-7, you, 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 you're always available for these kind of, presumably some of them are emergencies. Yes, and I think the, you know, follow the sun sort of methodology creeps into the culture, creating a culture that understands how to be super responsive to clients, but clients around the world, <laughs> matters that happen at two in the morning or, you know, two in the afternoon. So yeah, very much a part of our, our culture is being always responsive. And I think also the cultural piece that goes hand in hand with that is a culture of urgency. Typically, the type of work that we do is complex and time constrained, and no one wants to do it. The, the follow the sun with the urgency is really critical. And presumably now you're on a cusp, let's turn this to artificial intelligence, you're on a cusp where that's gonna start playing a bigger and bigger role in the work that you do. And you must be having thoughts about where that's gonna take you, how, what sort of applications it has, how it can help you, and how it can help your clients. Artificial intelligence is just a, is, is a progression of what I would call applied analytics, machine learning. And for years, we've been deploying this type of technology because if we didn't have it, we couldn't actually do the work. 
the, the volume of data that humans are creating is, is growing exponentially. And so we see artificial intelligence is not just a, a great way to um, maybe reduce cost. More importantly, it's a great way to actually be able to do the work. Final thought then, Meredith. I mean, this is clearly a field where there's an awful lot of work to be done. You're in a good position at the moment. You're, you're almost ahead of the pack in a lot of ways. Uh, but how do you see all this mapping out over the next decade or two? Yeah, I mean, well, if I only knew. But um, <laughs> what I think is an interesting finding is that what we have found is where it is the most powerful and where it solves the most you know, problems for our clients is when it is guided by expertise. And so I think where we see you know, an advantage and where we see an opportunity is that Consilio really bridges that gap of being able to highly leverage technology, both our own and others, but pair that with really expert guided experiences, whether that be, you know, data experts, legal experts, um, or, you know, AI experts most recently. And Andy, final thought, I mean, do you feel you're, one of the reasons you're here right now today is because you're at a kind of pivotal moment about how this business is going to change or how it's going to evolve. There's lots to talk about, lots to think about. A hundred percent. And I think that we've thought about ourselves in the past as being a technology company, being a services company. And what we realize is the two are inseparable at this stage of the game. And if, if, if I were to buy a Ferrari, I'm not a race car driver. I really need someone to teach me how to do that and go with me on that particular journey. And we see that as our role with our clients is to help them bridge the gap. Fantastic. Andy and Meredith, pleasure talking to you both. Thanks very much. Thank Thanks you. So Wonderful. Much. No doubt the future legal industry lies in blending innovation with human expertise to meet the challenges of the future. Concilio sets a new standard with tailored solutions, advanced technologies and its people-centered approach. It's another industry where artificial intelligence will play an increasing role yet to be fully understood by the wider world. It'll be up to the likes of Concilio to guide us through that experience.